They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and that is certainly true for Chef Ed Cotton. His father, Ed Sr., was also a chef, so young Ed experienced restaurant life from a very early age. He's worked with such big names as Todd English, David Burke, and Danielle Boulou. He came close to winning Top Chef, and he spent six seasons on the Food Network's Iron Chef America. He now runs his own kitchen here in New York as executive chef of the well-received Soto 13 in Greenwich Village. Chef Ed Cotton, welcome to The Dish. Thank you, thank you, good to be here. This is a really impressive spread. Tell us what we've got here today. So let's we'll start off with the drink over there. Yeah, right? that's not a bad idea. I like to start <laughs> off with a drink, so. Cheers. Uh, cheers. cheers. Yes. So we have a, a blood orange drink uh, with a little bit of ginger. Mm. And uh, Boy, this some, is good. That's good, and good some spring tequila. Drink. Yeah. So. Tell us about this ginormous, can I use that word, plate of pasta in front wow. of you? So I'm a huge fan of, uh, of uh, Clams, pasta. So, so I wanted to create something at the restaurant, and so we do a really nice roasted garlic fettuccine pasta with to with uh, chili flakes and and lemon zest and lots of clams. So I've had a lot of not so good spaghetti with clams in my life. So this is my version of a really good, <laughs> good spaghetti with clams. You mentioned eating some not good pasta during your life, but your life really seems like everything was about the kitchen. We mentioned that you started cooking with your father. Yeah. Did you always know this was the path you wanted then? Yeah, you know, this definitely, this is the only thing that I've done my whole, my whole career, my you, whole life. You were in cooking so. competitions, I mean, in high school, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I started, I got, I guess I got the bug uh, freshman year in uh, high school. So, but, I mean, at 15, you're working with Todd English. That's huge. How did you get that job? And what was it like at such a young age working with such a master? Well, I had, I had met uh, Todd English uh, my freshman year or in, in high school. And uh, I was lucky enough to uh, parlay that into a uh, work study program mm -hmm. from my high school. So I got to hang out in the kitchen with them at the original Olives in, in Boston, uh, you know, for a couple, you know, a couple uh, times a week or whatever. What was it like working for them then? Uh, it was a lot different than, you know, he had three restaurants at the time. Wow. So he, you know, it, it was, we got to see him every day, got to learn about, again, making fresh pastas and, and learning about, you know, Mediterranean cuisine and, and Italian, you know, Italian food and, yeah. So your dad was at the Culinary Institute of America. What was that conversation when you were enrolled? I mean, was he proud or was there a part of him that ever said, think about something else? At one point, yes, he did say, are you sure you really want to get into this? And, and you know, it was, it was either that or, or art. And I, I'd like to draw when I was growing up and everything. And, uh, but I really saw myself making more of a career out of cooking this type, cooking food in general. So he, he was like, go for it. So, and, and I, I chose the, the cooking thing. So many of your early influences were French, but you ended up opening an Italian restaurant. What happened? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, everything comes back to the, the, the foundation of cooking is the backbone of cooking always comes back to the French. You know, it's, it, you know, it's a lot of technique involved and all that stuff. That's why I really enjoyed learning all about that stuff and working for great chefs and French food and everything. But again, when, you, when I was so young and, and your mind is just a, it's a sponge, again, working for, for Todd or, or even Barbara Lynch, uh, that Italian, that like making pasta and everything, came like out. it, it yeah. came, you know, it came back to me like, oh man, I had such a great time learning about that and making that pasta and and just being cooking rustic. So I like to, you know, I still like to cook with a lot of refinement, but like I still like to for it to be rustic. Yeah, it's a nice family so, style yeah. presentation too. Yeah. As we hand you this dish to get your signature on it, we want to ask you if you could have this meal with any person, past or present. Who would that person be? Well, it would be a French, a French person, and uh, Jean Louis Paladin. So um, he was uh, an amazing, amazing chef that we lost uh, too, you know, too soon. Great and, choice. Chef Ed Cotton, thank you guy. so much. For more on Ed Cotton and the Dish, head to our website at CBS This Morning.